it's something to do with rotate the phone. You're alive. Okay. Hi everyone, this is Jessica from Blue Peaches Furniture and today I am going to do a uh, tutorial on how to apply dark wax and uh, different color tinted waxes so that you can see the, the different finishes yeah. that you can achieve. So I'm here in Ottawa and as people are starting to come on and start watching, um, I'll introduce you to the cameraman, who's my boyfriend, Matt. Matt, do you want to flip it and say hello and say hello to yourself? Hi, guys. So that's Matt. So he'll be reading all the uh, questions and comments that come in. Um, and so he'll, he'll be updating me on any questions you have and comments. And I would love to keep this super interactive. So if you're here, say hi. Um, ask questions. This is your opportunity to ask any questions that you want. And I, again, I'll be finishing this dresser and be applying antique wax. And then we'll apply um, white wax to this dresser. So if you can kind of... Hi, see... Janet. Hi, Janet. Um, if you can kind of see right here, um, this one has already had some dark wax applied to it. And this cupboard doesn't have any wax yet so we'll be applying it there and then we may apply a bit more dark wax or antique wax excuse me to this uh, to the other cupboards as well so um, as we're waiting to get people um, on I'm just going to show you the different color waxes that country chic has because Hi, country chic. hello <laughs> um, I'll just show you the different colors that they have to offer and they're all really cool and they give completely different and add a little bit of jazz to any piece that you do. So um, for starters, I'm going to show you um, antique wax. So this is my favorite. I use this on all my pieces, but it's just personal preference. And you can see it's sort of a brownie color. And um, so I put little trim boards together so that you can see the finished look. Um, so this one is, and I, all of these are dune grass. So I'll start, this is it without any wax that's the color dune grass this is what it looks like with antique wax on it so you can see the differences it adds a you know a little bit of vintageness to it um there's black wax which again on dune grass looks like this and there's white wax which on dune grass gives this finish um, and there's gray wax, which gives it a nice gray hue. And uh, pearl wax, which is really cool. It gives this really nice shimmer look to it. I don't know if you can see if the light's okay. Can you kind of see it shimmer? Yeah, a little bit. Anyway, so it looks, well, I'll show you compared to the original. It just kind of adds a little bit of... Oh, very nice shimmer and then gold wax which is really cool so it looks like this um, hi cecile hi sarah hi cecile hi sarah where are you guys watching from so then i'll just show you all combined so it really gives different looks just by applying wax which is really cool so for today's demonstration i'm just going to um use dark wax and white wax on these two pieces so we're gonna get going cecile's from ottawa oh yeah hi cecile i figured it was you um and we got another watcher beth o'brien feldstein from mn minnesota maybe oh cool oh and megan's on here watching too megan from lovely jubbly megan redden from lovely jubbly hi megan hi janet janet's from love you more furniture okay so what we're gonna do oops Sorry, I'm getting distracted with all the people on. So I'm gonna take my uh, natural wax, so obviously there's natural wax, and then I'm gonna use my wax brush. Um, and if you don't have a wax brush, you can uh, use a lint-free cloth or um, one of those blue paper towels. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply uh, a really light coat of natural wax, just kind of in various spots. And I'm not gonna rub it in at this point, because um, I'll do that after. Oh, we've got Marilee Towns watching from Coneskin, Ontario. Oh, cool. Hi. So if and you Megan's obviously from Spencerville. She's a Spencervillian. 
Janet, you mean? Janet, excuse me. Um, so what are you guys hoping to achieve by watching this? Or what are, what are you hoping to, to see? I'd love to hear your questions, comments, anything as we go. Um, Cause a lot of it will just be me like buffing and wax. So let's keep this interactive. Um, okay, so I apply the light layer of wax and you can kind of see that it's all messy, but I'm gonna just buff it in. And the reason I'm applying natural clear wax first is because I find it much more easier to manage the application of the colored waxes. Um, it, you can apply just the, the wax. Well, Megan wants to know what color this is. Not, oh, yes. Okay, not the so, wax, but the furniture, I'm guessing. Yes. I, um, so this color is Hurricane by Country Sheep. Hurricane? It's one of my uh, fave colors. So I just buff it in using one of these lint-free Is tools. it limited edition or is this available all the time? Oh, this color is available all the time. And once you try it, you'll become obsessed with it. Um, it's by far one of my top asked for colors for custom orders. Um, Cause it's this really nice gray, blue, navy. I don't know, it's really versatile. So it's just well, really we got awesome. We got another question here. Yeah. Uh, Cecile yeah. wants to know, are there colors that just don't go with dark wax? Uh, that's a great question. I, it's all personal preference. Um, I know some people don't even like antique wax. They find it looks dirty. I personally love it. I've used it on every single color and I think it looks amazing on every color. Um, but what I'll show you is if you're interested in painting your own piece um, and trying antique wax, I'll show you once you apply it now that you have your coat of natural wax. Um, I'll show you how to remove the wax or the dark wax if you don't like it. Um, and you can just try it and see if you like it and if you don't, you don't. And if you do, well, that's cool too. So I've applied my um, my natural wax, um, and then I'm going to take my uh, antique brush, and I have different brushes for every color of wax. Um, you don't really have to wash the waxes or the brushes, excuse me, for wax. Uh, I don't. Um, I know you can just by what we're using warm water and um, the the soap. Oh, we got another question here. Yeah. Mary Lee Towns is trying to decide what wax to use with cobblestone. Cobblestone. Um, and also, Megan loves Hurricane. Um, oh, look at that wax going on there. So, cobblestone, i it's a really dark gray. So, I, I've done it with dark wax, which looks really nice. Gray wax, I've tried, but it doesn't really change the color because gray wax is almost cobblestone. I've also done a piece on it with white wax, which just lightens it up and kind of makes it look more like Pebble Beach. Um, I don't know, play around with the colors. You can use also multiple colors. So, um, or multiple waxes, excuse me. So as you can see, I, I took my brush, uh, my wax brush. Oh, sorry, just going back to that, I don't mix the colors because I don't clean them. So I have one brush for each uh, color of wax. But if I don't, if you don't have the brushes, again, you can apply with a lint-free cloth. Okay, so if you wanna zoom in on this mat, so I just really um, did a really horrible job, right? And it just looks like a hot mess right now. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start buffing it in and it will have a really kind of nice blended look. So that's, so not to worry. And you just take the, and you blend it in as much as you want. So that it's sort of, Oh, Cecile loves antique wax and loves that she can, I can see you work. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to try doing a piece on your own, Cecile? You certainly love painted furniture. So I'm just buffing it in and then, so if I feel like, okay, you know what, this doesn't match, this is too dark, there's a trick to it. You just take more natural wax and you buff it and it just comes right off. So not to worry if you feel you've overdone it on the dark wax thing. Wax and I will admit, wax off. <laughs> I will admit that it is easier to wax without the handles on, but I wanted to show 
everybody what it will look like with the finished piece, but generally I'll try to leave the handles off so I can just really get in there. So can you see how it's blending now? And then you can't even really, it just adds this nice. It's a lot lighter than when you first put it on. Yeah, and it doesn't look like as much of a hot mess anymore, or like that just brown stuff going all over it. Cecile does not have the time to paint furniture, but she <laughs> appreciates your work. <laughs> Uh, I've never seen this before. Lisa Safford wants to be in our video. I don't know how to do that. I'll look into it. I don't know how to do that. We barely could figure out how to do a live video. I, there's a but button I, down here. I might tap on it. I'm not sure what will happen. What do you want to do in the video? Um, Alexandria, Alex, Andrea, not two separate words. How much wax are you actually applying? Oh, so little. Like, so little. Okay. Um, Oh, this is another thing I forgot to say, which is the most exciting thing of all, is that um, please comment. If you comment, you um, there are prizes. Country Chic is generously donating or giving away prizes to one lucky winner. If you comment um, and let us know what wax you want to try or what you want to try with wax, or even just where you're um, commenting or where you're watching from. And um, at the end of this video, they will be, we'll do a draw and one lucky winner will win two jars of the 16 ounce all-in-one paint and two uh, jars of the four ounce wax. Oh, everyone's saying hello now. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Janet, Janet Z loves this look. Jack Miofsky says hello. Lisa Safford says hello. Deanna caldwell Zawowski love this, loves this. And also Megan Redden. Yeah, so I apologize. Says, oh, Megan Redden wants to know a question here. How uh, how long does the wax have to cure for? I always tell my customers 30 days just to be super careful. Um, I think you can get away with like two weeks, but better safe than sorry. But the wax does add as a, a protector. Okay. So what do you guys think? Do you, do you think the dark wax adds a little bit of touch to it compared to what it was before. So it's subtle. I did a very subtle job on it, but... Um, oh, we got someone who likes to try Hurricane with antique wax. That's exactly what this is oh, right okay. now. okay. So that's Beth. So Beth you... Beth and we got someone watching from Western New York as if we got an American. Cool. And Barbara McKinney from Florida. Wow. Oh, cool. Um, so to answer the, the question from before that I didn't answer about how much wax I'm actually using, um, very little. Um, especially in the colored waxes, a little goes a long way. As you can see, um, I have these little four ounce jars, um, and since I've started using it, like this has lasted me for about four or five months now, and I use it almost, I use it very regularly. This antique wax has lasted me four or five months, and I use it almost on every piece every day, so. Oh, Megan likes to top the dark top and the antique wax, or the dark wax. So it looks cool. Yeah. I agree. It does look kind of cool. So oh, we've got someone from Tennessee, Lisa Jordan, saying hello from Tennessee, the volunteer okay. state. So, and if you want, if you're thinking at the end. Sharon from Toronto, Ontario says hello. Hi. So if you're thinking there's not enough wax, you can always go back and add more and go around. Um, I got a couple questions here, Jessica. Yeah. Um, you want to know if you use Country Chic on the top? If so, what color? Uh, no, I sanded this down and stained it with an espresso stain and then sealed it with uh, floor varnish, actually, okay. for the top. Um, yeah, I didn't. I want to try using the glazes to stain the top one time. I'm really excited to look forward. I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, no, I, I sanded this down and stained it with just espresso stain. Um, and use floor varnish okay. for the top. Um, and Alina, Ed, Ed, Alina, would like to know how long does the wax stay? Is there a way to seal it in? Well, once it's cured, it will stay. So um, after 30 days, it will just harden on there and act as a protector to the furniture. Um, so it will stay. Best to avoid um, cleaning it with chemicals as over the years, it will start to wear off with regular chemical cleaning. But after the 30 days, it's it's on there and it's cured. Um, okay. 
cool. So what do you guys think? Do you like the end result? Do you like how it looks with antique wax? I think that as I personally love Hurricane with antique wax, I think it really adds this subtle kind of dimension or added dimension or I don't know the words I'm trying well, to say. Nancy just ordered the new tribe paint color. Oh, is that the blue one? The the no. Limited it's, edition, maybe? It's the limited edition, so Country Chic has a really cool... Um, we got a hello from Joanne. Uh, Mary Lee would like to try Strength with Pearl Wax. Pearl Wax is really cool, and that would be really nice with Strength. I'm trying to remember which names are which for the, the limited edition colors, but the limited edition colors are really nice. Um, and I've started to use them... Well, the, there's the green one over there, the olive. Do you want to just go to that? I just finished that one. I haven't posted yet in one of the limited edition colors. Mm, this looks nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forget the name. If Sarah remembers the name, she can um, tell me I'm bad at right. the names. Um, can you put a top coat over this wax? Well, look at this little sign on top, too. No, with, when you do waxes, um, when you, when you paint with waxes, you can't put any more coats on top of it because the paint won't stick anymore. Uh, so what I'm about to show you though is if you really want that extra tough coat or the, the clear coat for the super added protection, you put that on before you wax. So on this one, this is a great example. This one's going to a little boy's room. And so I wanted to make sure that he could, you know, like, do little voice stuff or whatever they do, roughhouse around it. So I painted it and added um, two coats of clear coat, country sheet clear coat, which will have the added protection. But now we want to add a little bit of white wax to it. Not a lot, just a subtle amount. Um, and I already did to the top drawers. But yeah, once you wax, the wax is a protector itself, so you don't need to add another coat. But for whatever reason, if you do want to add more protective coats, apply the wax will be the last thing oh, you just while i'm missing some comments here okay for all of our information the green color over here is called conquer conquer it's yeah. a limited edition country sheet color and which one does that it's the cure, cancer uh, each color represents a different oh. cancer it's a really cool right. cause that country sheet has started megan loves that green so she loves conquer yeah. Um, Janet Z wants to know, do you ever use a small artist brush to apply the wax in crevices? So like um, tight spaces. No. No. Okay. Just the brushes? I could. That's a really good idea though, Janet. You're always full of great ideas. Nice work, Janet. Um, I haven't. I usually just um, use the brushes and kind of dab them into the areas like, like that or use a brush, but maybe I'll try that. Uh, Next time. That's a really good idea, Janet. What so, color is the teal that you're standing by? So this is Tropical Cocktail, mm. um, which is a really cool color. And it was really cute because uh, the, the was a probably five-year-old boy who picked this color, and he was adamant about this color. He wanted the handles the same color. But we're going to add a little bit of white wax just to jazz it up a little bit. And so uh, what I want to mention is because I've added the clear coat first, the wax won't absorb as much. Into that brings the paint. us to our next question. Okay. <laughs> Nancy wants to know, does wax stay on over clear coat well? Question mark. It will stay on. It just won't absorb as much. So I'm going to forgo putting clear wax on first because I don't need the clear wax to protect it since I have the clear coat already protecting it. Um, but what I'm going to do is, so you just put it on and it just won't sink into the paint as much because the clear coat, the clear coat is blocking it. Um, so I'm, again, this is going to look like a hot mess. And it'll be easier to rub off of it. So this is where, I'll put a little on the handles too. Um, this is where the the um, clear coat, it will rub off more. So I'm just gonna use, where'd that paper towel go? Um, I'm gonna use a paper towel just cause that like free cloth is a bit dirty. But see, and then it just rubs off pretty easily um, at the moment because it's still wet and it's not sinking into the paint as much. But you can still sort of see it. It's adding a little bit of added texture. 
do you guys think? Do you like the little bit of white? It kind of reminds me of the sky. Are people... No one has yet commented on that. Come on, guys, comment. But I'm sure that reminds them of the sky as well. What do you think, Matt? Do you like it? It looks like a summer, bright summer day. But, and you can see what I'm doing. I'm not doing this perfectly at all. It looks really messy at first. Um, and you really can't go wrong because if you apply too much, you can remove it. Um, I kind of try to live by the philosophy that to apply a little less and you can add more, but. Oh, we got some comments coming in here. Okay. A little question there. Would it be all right to do this on kitchen cupboards? Good question. Yeah, totally. It would be, um, got some heart faces too. Yeah. What? Uh, yeah. You can totally, lots of, uh, there's actually country chic has a tutorial on their website on how to paint kitchens. And then you can add the wax if you want that sort of farmhouse charm. I've seen a lot of people do it and it's really, really cool. And it's super trendy these days. And it's so much more inexpensive than buying new kitchen cabinetry. But yeah, I would, uh, I mean, I would maybe practice a bit on other pieces or like on, uh, you know, find an old piece of furniture that, and try doing the wax before you go full blown kitchen cupboards or hire someone uh, who knows what they're doing to do it. Um, Lisa says she loves it. Janet Z, uh, thanks for demonstrating the wax over the clear coat. Never tried that before. Well, Janet, maybe this will inspire you to try it. Yeah, Janet doesn't really like wax, so oh. we're getting her into it, which is cool. So nice. Maybe after this, she'll be a wax fan. Barbara says, looks great. Uh, another question here. Yeah. Would you clear coat after the wax from Dina? No, 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 no. You, the, it will not stick. Uh, clear do not coat. do that, Dina. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Matt, <laughs> for your expertise. Yeah, I don't um, know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> don't um, do that. Don't do it. Um, no, just because wax uh, paint and clear coats and top coats won't stick over waxes. So, um, yeah, so make sure to apply any clear coats or tough coats first, and then the wax should always be the last step. So try to remember that just wax is the last step. Um, uh, Cecile says it looks like the sky, very poetic dresser. <laughs> Little heart, heart eyes from Megan. Um, Joanne says it looks awesome. So oh, if, another question, sorry to interrupt. Okay, actually Next. let me just finish this off. Okay, go for um, it. If you are looking to order it, uh, online and you're not in the Ottawa area, if you're in the Ottawa area, I, you can purchase the paint and waxes and all your supplies from me. Um, but if you're not in Ottawa, uh, you can order it, the paint and wax and all the things online. And if you use the code BLUEPEACHES10, which I think Sarah is going to write in the comments to remind you, so BLUEPEACHES10, you will get 10% off your order online. Sorry. Now, no, I've been know. meaning to say that. Everybody likes a discount. Yeah. yeah. So what was the question? Sorry, um, Okay, from Megan. Did you mix the white wax with clear first or just white on its own? I just did white on its own for this one because I it had the clear coat, so I didn't really need the natural wax to buff it because, uh, like I was uh, saying, the wax isn't soaking into the paint um, as much because the clear coat is sort of preventing that. Okay. But yeah, so you can see it's subtle but it does have a little bit, you can tell more in person, and it's getting dark outside, so I hope you guys can see in here. Oh, you can see the white. Yeah? Yeah. So it's just subtle. Another question here. Yeah. Oh, I almost fell over. Um, is glaze better to use instead of, is glaze better to use instead to use clear coat? Is glaze better than clear coat? I think so, yeah. Well, so glazes, glazes are, um, they have colors as well. So they're another form that you can use sort of almost sort of like wax that you can put over to achieve different textures. And they, uh, Country Chic has a few colors and they have their new ones, limestone and um, I forget the other one, but it's a really cool black. Um, and they add really fun, textures to the finishes to the paint as well and they're also a protective coat but clear coat is meant specifically for um protecting it um for maximum durability and it's clear whereas the glazes can add different finishes 
Uh, so for me, from what I understand with glazes, it sort of comes down to a personal preference, whether you want to use glaze or colored waxes. Uh, I could be wrong, Sarah or someone from Country Chic, if you're watching, please feel free to correct me. Um, I prefer using waxes. Um, I also know a lot of refinishers who love the glaze and use glaze. So maybe one day I'll do a tutorial on um, how to apply glaze too. That could be the next one. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, Would people want to see that or are you I got, we got a few more questions already oh, here. sorry. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll get some answers to that. Um, so would the wax rub off where it's on top of the clear coat? No, uh, it will, once it's dry, it will be fine. So it, like in a few days, it will be totally dry. And That's then, wax over clear coat? Yeah. Okay. And then it will just, uh, in 30 days, it will be rock solid. Okay. And I, I think it's even less than 30 days, but I just have 30 days in my head that I tell my customers. That's, that's fair. Um, Nancy wants to know, to get that look, can glaze be used? There's a lot of glaze questions here. Maybe it, yeah, glaze, you can um, achieve similar looks with glazes. I'm trying to think if I have a piece here that has glaze on it. Um, oh, this piece right oh, here has glaze. What? Do you want to... Um, There's not great lighting in here. Do you want to watch your uh, drink there? Uh, yeah, my water. Yeah, so this has glaze. There's lighting there. has glaze on it. I used... Um, the brown glaze, <laughs> I forget the name of it. It was like a bronze glaze. And so this is nightfall on top. And then see how it's darker around the edges? That's uh, the look I achieved with glaze. Okay, is that a ball of iced tea up there? Yeah, yeah so. sorry, I didn't think I would be showing that in the video so it's not cleaned up. Um, yeah, would people like to see a video on glaze or is that something that interests people? Okay, hang on. Um, I got a lot of questions here. Okay. I think that's a yes, though. <laughs> some of the questions. If you ever want to change color, can you just paint right over the old color, or what do you need to? If you have wax on it? I think so. I can't see the end of the question. Okay. Uh, so I'll just answer both ways. If there's no wax, you can just paint over it. If there's wax, you'll want to sand it off. If it's fresh, you can sometimes rub it off. But yeah, I would wax it down. Um, or sand it down, excuse me, a little bit if you want to change the color and it has wax over it, just so it will stick. Because wax, one thing I do, and I'm getting off topic now, is with the waxes, um, if I want to do a two-tone sort of distress look. So let's say I wanted to have um, like pink show through. Um, what I would do is I'd put a coat of paint wax, clear wax it in certain sections, then do, let's say, the hurricane blue over top, and then when you rub it, it the paint where there's wax will come right off, and it will give this cool two-tone distress look. Seems like a two-part class. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I don't want to get too into that because that, I'm getting really off topic, but yeah, so the whole point is that wax won't stick to paint. Okay. Uh, we got a hello from Chantel. Hello, Chantel. Hi, Chantel. How are you? Uh, Janet is interested in seeing a video on glazing. Okay. Or Thanks. applying glaze. Thanks, Janet. Also knowing it is glazing. Uh, Dina would like to see a glaze tutorial also. Um, Deanna, I've not tried a wax yet. Now that I see how easy it is, I'm excited to try. That's sweet. Yeah, it's super easy. And you saw how messy I it was. And, you know, you can just patch up any errors that you do and things like that. Uh, Beth loves this piece. Thank you, Beth. Which uh, one? Uh, not sure where I was pointing the camera at that time, but <laughs> <laughs> when she said that. Well, thank you. Yeah. Uh, Cecile says, oh, this is pretty. I'm thinking they're talking about this one. Okay. This one looks kind of cool, eh, with the different colors. It's also going into a little boy's bedroom. Oh, lucky. Um, Mary Lee's loving the effect of the white wax. Yeah, that is cool over there and the white wax on this yeah one. and the pearl is so cool I wish I had a piece to show you a uh, pearl because it just adds this sort of shimmer it's like it's perfect for little girls rooms or someone who wants a little bit of glam too it's just such a pretty shimmer look we got, and a, the lot, gold we got a lot of yeses on glaze okay <laughs> um country so chic just posted 
that they can learn more about glazing in their tutorial that they have online, I think. So yeah, they have, Country Chic's so great with all the videos that they have online. If you have questions about anything, they, you can pretty much search through their videos and find answers um, or using their live chat. They're absolutely amazing at that. Um, um, yeah, so that's really all I have to show you guys. Um, so just remember, uh, we're doing the giveaway, so comment now to get in, uh, your chance to win, and um, to order if you're not in the Ottawa area. If you are, stop by, come okay. see me. Um, uh, if, uh, if not, uh, you can order online at Blue Peaches, or sorry, order the paint online, uh, countrysheetpaint.com, and uh, use the code Blue Peaches 10 Jessica, we have our winner. Oh, we have our winner. For the commenting. Yeah. Our winner tonight is Beth O'Brien Feldstein. Congratulations, Beth. Beth, where are you from? Ooh, Joanne's doing a small cabinet with Hurricane and adding black wax. Yeah, that will be really nice. Black wax is really nice, too. And Megan wants to use Hurricane with a dark top. Everyone likes the dark top and Hurricane together. Yeah, I love that look. Um, Beth is from Minnesota. Oh, cool. Congratulations, Beth. Enjoy. Uh, you get to pick out the colors you want. Do you know what colors you're going to, of wax you want to try? Um, okay, so that's it. Does anybody have any last minute questions? Janet wants to use all the colors. She can't wait to experiment. Awesome. <laughs> that makes me happy. Uh, no more questions right now. Okay. But congrats again to Beth. Yeah. And thank you, Matt, for um, being the cameraman. So thank you all, and have yourselves a great uh, evening. Bye, guys. Thank you. Good night.